Hello, this is Daryl, and uh, welcome to the Woodhaven. Um, if you've been following along with the cabin build, uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of Back to the Future action. But if you're new to the channel, then stay tuned as we uh, lay out some shed roof style rafters using nothing more than a couple of scrap pieces of 2 before and a pencil. So let's get to it. Alright, I'm back at the property and I'm getting ready to start uh, putting up more walls. But before I do that, I want to take advantage of uh, the floor deck here. So I've set up a template to uh, build my uh, roof rafters. The bird's mouth and the, uh, the angle that's on the end. Not sure what that's called. But um, my, my floor deck here is exactly the right size. And I know that I've got eight feet on the back walls and I'm gonna have nine feet on the uh, front wall, front walls. So that's a one foot rise over an eight foot run. So what I've done here is I've got a couple of boards that are one feet got those clamped on that end and one that's two feet clamped on this end and I've made sure that everything is flush you know all the way around and that'll simulate a one foot rise on an eight foot run so all I have to do is place my uh, two by six across that get it set where I want it and then I can just mark all of my angles and my birds mouths and let me go grab a two by six and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I've got my uh, template set there and I've measured and I've got the long edge is 12 inches from the uh, side of the floor deck. And on this side, I also have the uh, long edge 12 inches from the floor deck. Okay, so all I have to do is take a 2x4 and set it down, mark my line, set it down this way, mark my line, and there's my bird's mouth. Okay, so this is what will be removed. Okay, so I wanted to stop the video right here just so that I could better illustrate what I just did. So first I had you draw a line here, followed by a line here. And then I had you remove this section, which would create your bird's mouth. That was a mistake. What I should have done was drawn a second line here and only removed this section of the rafter. And that would have left me with this section for the bird's mouth, which would have left this area flat uh, for my soffits underneath the rafter boards. So this is still a very good method for laying out your rafters. Just don't make the same mistake that I made and uh, I'll be able to fix that mistake, but uh, I just wanted to point that out. I also wanted to mention that this is only an issue on the 9-foot wall. The 8-foot wall is fine doing it that way, but on the 9-foot wall, you need to add that second line and only remove that smaller section. All right, so let's get back to the video. And now that I've got that marked, all I have to do is slide my board to the edge like that and I can mark my angle on the bottom. And do the same on the other side.
All right, let's see how it fits on the template. Okay, I've got my first rafter sitting in the uh, template area. And let's see how I did. That's pretty good. And again, that's pretty good. And I've got my angle right as well for the ends. So pretty easy. Now I've got my template rafter created. So all I need to do is use it to mark all the rest of them and uh, I'm good to go. So now that I've got that out of the way, it's okay for me to go ahead and uh, start putting up the rest of the walls. Okay, so let me bring you back to the future with a little slideshow. And you're going to want to watch till the end because um, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek at uh, what the rafters look like up on the cabin. 